Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. And if you're new here, well, welcome. In today's video, we'll be talking about the top 10 upcoming open world games for PS5 alongside with some gameplay. So without further ado, let's get into it. First upon the six is Hogwarts Legacy. Hogwarts Legacy is an upcoming open world action adventure role playing game being developed by Avalanche Software and to published by Warner Bros. Hogwarts Legacy will be set in the 18th century where you will be able to choose a student and also choose your Hogwarts house and attend classes. The open world will have a lot of areas to explore, but here's a few with one being the Farbin Forest and the Hogstead Hogsmaid Village, you will be able to craft spells, make potion, and also use and learn combat abilities. Also, you'll be able to choose how your in-game character sounds alongside, with their, with, alongside choosing your physical features, and you can also choose whether it be a witch or a wizard. The game has a release date of somewhere in 2022. Talented and while your journey begins at Hogwarts, Brewing potions, taming fantastic beasts, and mastering spells. There is a larger world beyond these walls. A world filled with dangers you can't yet imagine. An ancient knowledge long gone from this world. strange and mysterious talent you possess may be the key to unlocking this dormant power. Your potential is limitless. But what form will it take? The journey ahead will reveal what you stand for. The choices you make now will define the legacy of Next up is a game called Tokavi. Tokavi is a upcoming open and online role playing game that is being developed and published by Perlobis. Your player will find a Dokibi, a creature that gains strength from people's dreams and you both embark on a journey together. Now there's a lot of vehicles are where you can travel in this game, there's skateboard, there's gliders, there's cars, there's bike and there's a lot of different activities that you can do in this game. I see there's swimming, there's also fighting, there's dancing. Well, a lot of things, you know what you would expect um, from like, like a real life simulator, but like just cartoony and just overall fun. This game can actually be a really big thing for me. Uh, the game is going to be released somewhere in 2022, so I can tell this game will be like a big game next year. Hopefully it doesn't flop or anything.
Next up is Saints Row. Saints Row is an upcoming open world shooter action adventure fighting game being developed and republished by Deep Silver. The game is said to be a reboot of the Saints Row series, which came as a big surprise as the game was announced shortly after Saints Row 3 Remastered was released. The game is going to be set in the city of, San of Santo Lisa based in a Southwest America, which the city is being controlled by three major gangs, the Les Petreos, the Idols, and the Martial Defense Industry. You will take control of the Saints boss, which assemble, which well, basically assembles a new gang with new crew members. The city has nine districts, and you'll be tasked to take control of the city. You can also create your character to fit your imagination. The game will also feature multiplayer co-op, and the game is said to be releasing on February 25th, 2022. Here in Santo Aliso. They are strategic assassins. They've got high-tech, bleeding-edge technology, and they're designed to secure and lock you down. In contrast, Pantera's all about muscle and physical power. They're part of the soul of Santo. They're tough and brutal, and they favor melee attacks and heavy weaponry to come at you with full force. Ladies and gentlemen of Santo Then there's the idols. The idols are something completely different. They're self-styled anarchists. They see themselves as icons in the New World Order. They're a cult of personality, and what they lack in combat sophistication, they make up in numbers, and so they try to swarm the player. We are trying to put as much attention to detail. We wanted to create a whole new world filled with discovery that each of our players can feel included in. You're making your character the way you want to. You're building your criminal empire the way you want. Next up on this list is a game called Elements. Element is an upcoming European action adventure shooter game being developed by Wreck-It Games and so published by Wreck-It Games alongside with Apogee Entertainment. And as we can see, the game takes a cartoonish look, which is a great thing since you're not mini game with this type of visual style. The game is played from a third person perspective as two siblings goes on a journey to fulfill their destiny as they must find the eight elemental stones and restore balance to the world. You can also build homes and businesses in this game. There's also magic and melee and long range weapons used for combat. Alongside that you can also collect resources and items to upgrade your abilities. The game also has a co-op mode. The game has a release date of somewhere in 2022. Next up on this list is Suicide Squad Killer Justice League. Suicide Squad Killer Justice League is an upcoming open world action adventure shooter fighting game being developed by Rocksteady Studios and is published by Warner Bros. The game will be a continuation of the Batman Arkham series that left on a cliffhanger after Batman supposedly exploded his mansion, killing himself and his butler Alfred. The game has a small team of four playable characters, Captain Boomerang, Deadshot, Harley Quinn and King Shark. The game can either be played in a single player mode or in a four person co-op. The game begins after the Suicide Squad squads arrive in the metropolis city to find that everyone there is under the influence of Brainiac alongside with the Justice League Superman, Flash, Green Lantern and Wonder Woman and it's up to the Suicide Squad to kill the Justice League and stop Brainiac to save the world. The game is said to be releasing somewhere in 2022. Justice League is the worst idea you've ever heard? I can't design that.
What did you think would happen? You'd crawl out of your cells, swoop in, save the day? Which superheroes did you say you were? Again! Remember, your heads are ticking. He's not gonna make it. Waller, the penguin is in flight. Repeat, the penguin is in flight. Then let's clip his wings. Oh my god! He's getting up! Hitting him again. He's ran out the door! Somebody stop him! <laughs> did that get him? <laughs> uh, 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 no! Uh, it, it very much did not get him! Uh, Waller! Waller! Blow up his head! Next upon this list is Test Drive Unlimited Solar Crown. Test Drive Unlimited Solar Crown is a upcoming open world single player multiplayer racing game being developed by Calaton and is published by Nacon. The game has a release date of September 22, 2022. Next up is Gotham Knights. Gotham Knights is an upcoming action adventure role playing fighting game being developed by Warner Bros. Game Mantrals and is published by Warner Brothers Interactive Entertainment. The game starts after Gotham City health has been decreasing massively after the death of Batman, causing his former partners Nightwing, Batgirl, Robin, and the Red Hood, who previously all went their separate ways, to rejoin forces and work together for the sake of Gotham City. And they also have a face off against the Code of Olds, and they have to try to figure out if Batman and Death is actually real or not. You'll be able to play as all of the game four characters, each with their own abilities, weapons, and playstyle. The game can either be played in solo or co, or co op. The game has a release date of summer in 2020. Next upon this is Crimson Desert. Crimson Desert is an upcoming role-playing action adventure open world game being developed and published by Pearl Abyss. The game is set in a med medieval fantasy world on the content of Pearl, where mercenaries are struggling to survive and the player is struggling to keep a small band of mercenaries together and also having to deal with this painful memory from the past that seems to haunt him. The game seems to have a lot to do with close combat melee alongside with the ability to mount your horse and there's also climbing involved alongside with the grappling rope, which is very cool in my opinion. The game has a release date of summer in 2022.
Next up is a game called Forspoken. Forspoken is a upcoming open world action adventure game that is currently being developed by Luminous Production and is to be published by The Great Scare Enix. The game has two short teasers released but you know we know a couple of things about this game like the game main focus seems to be on fast speed movements and terrain traversal. The game is a completely open world giving the player the ability to travel to anywhere at any given time they like. The game also has a heavy focus on dragons and you know big Skyrim fan and Harry Potter. No, I gotta love that. Now, the game main character is a young lady by the name of Frey who got transported from New York City to a fantasy world. I mean, that explains the white kicks he's rocking. Frey will also be tasked to use her magical abilities to journey through this mystical world and find a way back home. Forsaken has a release date of somewhere in 2022. Now last on the States we got the great Horizon Forbidden West. Horizon Forbidden West is an open world post-apocalypse upcoming action adventure role playing game being developed by Guerrilla Games and is published by Sony Interactive Entertainment. Forbidden West is said to be the sequel to 17 Horizon Zero Dawn. Now Horizon Forbidden West is a third person game where you take control of the gaming character Ally which is grown massively from a teenager to a young woman. She's a huntress in a world overrun by dangerous monsters. Well, machines robot machines now the game is located in the post-apocalypse california utah and also nevada you'll be able to explore this mystery frontier known as the Fabian west and the map is said to be much larger than its predecessor the game introduced a new underwater exploration low period of venture underwater in lakes seas and also rivers there will be a lot of new biomes and ruins to explore like the rundown san francisco and also the great sight scene of yosemite valley with many different biomes also in this game the game also has an enhanced melee combat, new weapons and power-ups and abilities, and a new and improved climate mechanics, also with a new glider and new tools like the focus scanner, diving mask, and the pull caster. Horizon Fabian West of a release date of February 18, 2022. Hello there. Yeah, I'm talking to you. You absolute legend. If you made it this far, you are, you are the greatest, bro. And I just wanted to do one more thing for me, though. Please leave a like and subscribe. And definitely comment in the comment section what video you'd like to see me make next. Because I'm definitely can make anything for you guys as long as it's PS5 and Xbox Series X or S related. Now, again, thank y'all for making it this far. And until next time, peace out.